It has been said that the atheist is either foolish or wicked. He is foolish because he ignores the evidence that God exists. He is wicked because he refuses to live by God's truth. In either case, one becomes an atheist because he practices reliance on oneself instead of God. The context of Psalm 14 that I read earlier is clear that the word fool applies to all men. Verse 3 of that chapter says, All have turned away. All have become corrupt. All men without saving faith in the power of the Lord Jesus are practical atheists. People don't mind talking about sin. Most will even identify the sinful actions of others. But the truth is, they don't want to, maybe you don't want to, be identified as a sinner. The Bible tells us in Romans 3 and 23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In my own life, I'm thankful that I came to the realization that I too needed to see myself as a sinner. I had turned away from God and His ways. The fact is that most people in our world refuse to live by God's truth and they practice self-reliance. They need to realize that only Jesus Christ was perfect and He became the only sacrifice that could die for us and we could be restored to a relationship with God. Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 states, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it's with your mouth that you confess your faith and are saved. The important question is, have you asked him to save you?